Air Patrol, this is Convoy Actual. Requesting sit rep. Over. Explosion compromised our route. Requesting instructions. Over. Again, so sorry about that. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. Rear Patrol, recommend alternate route. Rendezvous with Convoy and Tempe. Maintain radio contact. Over and out. Copy that. Rear Patrol, out. Alright, assholes and feet, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, aye, there's been more DLC dropped for World War Z, and it's called Valley of the Zeke in Arizona, USR, and it's three levels. Seems to be the standard when they release uh, missions for this game. Some of them have four, most of them have three. And you get four new characters. Two guys, two women, one of the women's a redhead. Can't remember any of their names because it doesn't actually matter. Heather, I think the redhead's called Heather, there you go. And you'll get a bunch of new weapons, you get some new melee weapons, two of which are a scythe set, so you can live out your Raphael Ninja Turtle dreams in a zombie apocalypse, if you do so wish. Uh, there's some other ones, there's a repeating rifle, it's no bad actually. And you know, the usual... Fucking crap. Have stuff. Lots of microtransactions. Lots of things locked behind paywalls, very frustratingly. But uh, the, the levels, the three levels are pretty good. Quite fun. The whole package is £8 something or other. In fact, let's just round it up to 9 quid. Because uh, it's not... It's like £8.79. You look, why 79 Either round it down or round it up. Don't have all these stupid arbitrary pence numbers look. Oh yes, it was worth that extra 79 pence. What? That's just weird to me. It's just, it's weird to me. And it's, you know, it's an unsatisfying number to have rattling around your brain. Have I got £8.79 in my account? Probably fucking not. Because I don't tend to sell the, you know, credit packs and like that in pence. It's just pounds. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, you know, multiples of 5. Unless you've got your credit card or debit card attached to your... Xbox account or PlayStation account. Why are you doing that exactly? Mm -mm, I don't think so. I know you can... Oh, do you buy off Amazon so it's tied to that? It's like, I know it's tied to that. But I like to tie my card to as little electronic nonsense as possible. And that's just one way that I can just feel that I've had a minor victory. Fucking geese that, will you? Jesus! There's a new enemy type and all called the Juggernaut. What a pain in the farter he is. Runs at you, knocks you down... And you're for doing like a bunch of toy soldiers, motherfucking you. <laughs> and um, it takes you a lot of time to get back up because the game is glitchy as fuck. Another thing I've noticed is a wee bit in the glitchy side. Nothing terrible. Mostly animation glitches and sometimes I'll slide through the level, you know. Just slide through that level like a hot knife through butter. Mm -hmm. So what are the levels like? They're okay. They're just kind of standard fare. There's like a quarry or like a, some sort of construction site. There's like a city. And struggle to think what the last one is. That's wonderful, isn't it? It's just another half of a city. I can't remember. What the fuck is the third one? Jesus. There's a train yard at the end of it, that's all I can remember, right, moving on. Uh, Jesus. So, I and that's that's basically your whack. Hunters of zombies, hunters of hordes, lots of destruction. If you like the the, the normal game, or the aftermath, or, or whatever it is, you will like this. You will. You will like this. It is fun. Do you hear me? Buy it, maybe wait for a wee price drop, I think eight quid. Actually, it is eight quid too bad. Now that I'm mulling it over in my mind as I'm recording this, I'm, it might not be so bad for what you get. Because I think it's just massively replayable with all the different characters. Alright, the characters are just skins more than anything else. They don't really add anything to the gameplay. Uh, but all the, all, all the, like, the classes and stuff like that, I do, I do think this game is massively replayable. Plus it's co-op. So, if you've got friends in the real world... Very few of us seem to have these days, um, or even the online world that seems to be more and more prevalent as the time passes by. Uh, get get on it because it's good fun. I, I do recommend it. There's nothing inherently offensive. It's nothing groundbreaking either. It's just a nice wee expansion. If you wanted more World War Z, you've got it. See you later. Good luck following 
Go!